Hello, my loves, and welcome to Create Your Life. My name is Simone, and I am your host today. And today, I would like to be the person to tell you that you are whole. You are already whole. Everything you need is inside of you. I want to talk about this topic because a lot of people tend to get really caught up in personal development and feeling like they need to fix themselves or do this thing to be okay or learn that thing to be okay. And while it is such a beautiful thing to want to continue to grow and expand and learn and experience life and develop more self-awareness, all of these are such beautiful qualities. They're actually very high values of mine. It is important to note that you are already whole. You're already whole inside of you. A lot of the times we go through life basically with all these filters. So it's my belief that we start off life as little balls of love energy. That's how we start. That's what we are at the very base. That's how I would describe us as a little ball of love energy. During our life, we go through thoughts and feelings and we have memories and emotions and experiences and things that happen that put little filters over us and the way we see things, those little filters. And everybody has filters. Everybody has different filters. We all have different experiences, different perceptions. And a lot of the time when you start on personal development and healing journeys, a lot of people will just be like, I've got that trauma and I need to clear it because I'm not whole. You know, I've got that, uh, that thing happened and I need to clear it because it's, I'm not whole. It's holding me back from doing X, Y, Z. Or in six weeks when I've worked with this, I'll be whole because I will have learned this. And the thing is like, it's really beautiful to want to continue to grow and expand, but you need to have the understanding that you're already whole. You're already part of the creator. There's wholeness already there, you know, and falling into that trap of thinking that there's something wrong with you, that there is something you need to fix, is taking away from who you really truly already are, which is a whole and beautiful ball of love. That's who you really are. And yes, you have some filters that you might decide you want to grow and expand and work through and change the color of. But at your very core, you're already whole. You've already got everything you need inside of you. And learning to cultivate that and understand that you are already whole, you are already lovable, you are already worthy is such a powerful thing because a lot of the times people will say, I'm not worthy of a relationship yet because I have to fix X, Y, Z. But then you're saying that there's something wrong with you and there's nothing wrong with you. You are a beautiful divine being of love and light, you know. So learning to shift that vibration to that place of wholeness within yourself is just such a powerful thing that we need to start to do. And yes, it comes down to having self-love. Yes, it comes down to knowing you are worthy and deserving of everything you desire, you know, because you are whole. There's nothing to fix. The universe wants you to have everything you've ever desired. The universe is here for you. It literally wants to help you, you know, and you were made in the image of the creator. You are part of the creator. The creator is energy. You are energy. You are literally the creator. You're literally going through life, experiencing things and having different perceptions and understandings for the growth of the whole. We are all part of the whole. We are the whole. So it's it's a big topic that I would like to continue to expand on. And I don't want to go too deep with it in this one video, but I do want to just be that person to say, you are whole. You're already whole already before you do anything else today you know you don't need to go for a run to be whole you don't need to go do whatever thing you need to do to be whole you're already whole you're already lovable you're already worthy so ways that we can really start to connect with these feelings of wholeness and worthiness and lovableness love (laughs) 
is things like affirmations and meditations and mantras. Journaling will help you connect to that feeling of wholeness. And I think that starting to really cultivate that feeling within yourself is so important because if you don't feel whole, you're always going to be chasing that external thing to fix you, that external thing to, but yeah, fix you. That's exactly the words. And the thing is, everything you need is already inside of you. You don't need fixing. Yes, it's great to continue to grow and expand, as I've mentioned, but you don't necessarily need to look at yourself as something that needs fixing. You can look at yourself as something that's already whole and already lovable and already beautiful. And even in, I'm not even sure which culture it is, it might be like Chinese or Japanese. There's a culture where if a vase breaks, a porcelain vase, they put it back together, but with gold in between the cracks and it turns into this beautiful vase. The vase is still whole, even though it's got a couple of cracks, you know, the cracks have been filled and you're exactly the same. Yeah, okay, you have, you've got a couple of experiences have happened to you, but you're still whole, you know, you're still whole, you're still lovable, you're still worthy, you have everything you need. So I would look at if I was trying to cultivate these feelings of wholeness, I would literally probably sit down for at least five minutes twice a day and I would put my hands on my heart and I would literally feel into and try and connect with my heart and I would say to myself, I am whole and see how that feels. See what comes up for you. Have a pen and paper next to you. And write out what comes up because when you first start saying this, you might have some stuff coming up in your brain. Like you might have some resistance to this feeling of wholeness. You might be like, I'm not whole, this, this happened. And take that those moments to write out whatever it is that is stopping you from feeling whole. Like let those things out, like literally write them out. This happened so I don't feel whole or you're not whole because of X, Y, Z. You know, that little voice in your head, that little voice, write out what that little voice says. And just keep going until until you've got out what you needed to say to yourself. And then just look back at it and you can read it if you want to, but then just say to yourself, can I let this go now? Am I ready to let this go? And there might be a little bit more that needs to get written. It might be like, no, because, and then you just keep writing. But sometimes you'll get, yes, I am ready to let this go now. And then you can come back to yourself and be like, okay, I am whole. And see how that feels again. See how it feels the second time you say that you are whole. Do you feel more whole? Keep going. Like whatever you need to get out, allow it to come out. Allow those feelings to come up and witness them and then let them go. Okay? Because taking the time to connect in and understand that your whole is such a beautiful thing and also just play with it because yes okay at this time of the day and first thing in the morning you might be you might be able to do some journaling right but then later on the day you might be doing something where you're just like i am amazing i'm loving this i'm rocking life everything is great literally take a minute and be like I am whole and your body would be like, yes, you are, you are whole, you know, and grab that feeling and hold on to that feeling and be like, I am whole. I am okay. Everything is always working out for me, you know, grab onto those moments when they're there. But the thing is when you're first starting to, to really connect with and feel that feeling of wholeness, there could be some little bits of resistance, which is why we want to take the time to do this twice a day. And I would think of it more as in the morning, the emptying of the cup, you know, if you're connecting in in the morning and there's other stuff there, let that other stuff come up and let it out. And then during the day, if something happens where you're like really amped up, just connect and be like, I'm whole, I am all good, you know, and in those moments, jump onto that. And then I would look at it in the evening as a really beautiful nurturing time and not necessarily about letting things out, but about literally loving yourself. Just be like, I am whole. And then sit with it 
But no, I am. I am whole. Yep, I am whole, you know, and nurture yourself. B, I am lovable. Start saying the things that you know are true about yourself first and build yourself up to the I am wholes and the I am lovables if they are harder for you. But start with the things. I am beautiful. I am energized. I am clear. I am happy. I am light. And start to really feel who you are in the evenings and connect with those who you are moments and then start to come into the I am whole, I am lovable, I am worthy, I am amazing, you know, and let yourself in the evenings go on a little tangent with yourself and your vibration and your feelings about the fact that you are whole and that you are lovable and that you are everything you need already inside of you right here, right now in this present moment, every single day. And I think that by cultivating this practice where, okay, yes, in the morning, if you've got stuff to let out, you can let it out. During the day, if anything comes up, just run with the feelings of wholeness. And then in the evening, taking that time to really self-nurture and really just feel the feelings that you want to feel about yourself. Everybody wants to feel good. Everybody wants to feel beautiful, you know. And if you're struggling, for you it might be, I have beautiful feet. I'm really good at sport. You know, your things that you start with are going to be different to mine and anybody else's. Everybody's going to have different things that they feel good about themselves with, but start with the things that you feel good about and start to grow and expand into the other parts of yourself and start to really see yourself for who you really are because you are whole and I see you. I see you. You are whole. We are all whole. We are all just beautiful little balls of love and light with filters. That is literally it. So over time, hopefully in the mornings, you'll also be able to just connect in with these beautiful feelings of love and wholeness. Over time, you may not need to do the journaling to get anything out. You may um, be able to straight away connect with those feelings of wholeness. You know, you might straight away be able to be like, I am whole, yay. You know, and that you might be able to do that first thing in the morning, which is amazing. And that's great. And I still recommend doing this for five minutes in the morning and in the evening because it's going to set your vibration for the day. You know, so yeah, I think this is a really powerful practice and a really powerful thing to understand that you are whole, you are worthy, you are deserving, you are lovable and everything you need is already inside you. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I've really loved talking to you guys today and bringing this up with you guys today. And I want you all to know that you are worthy, you are deserving, you are lovable and you are whole and I see you. Thank you so much for spending these moments with me. If you've enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends or someone who needs it. Send it to someone who needs to hear that they're whole. Sometimes we all go through things where we just need someone to tell us that we are lovable, that we are whole, that we are deserving and that we are worthy. So send this video to someone who needs it or leave me a comment below. Let me know if you tried out those exercises of connecting in with yourself. And yeah, connect, let me know. Anyway, until next time.